Hey everybody, we're on the Street 4 2 we're another Warframe gameplay. And today we're going to be talking about the Shrine of the Eidolon patch that's coming out this week actually. Uh, my intentions were to upload the Warframe uh, updates that were happening, the actual Warframe frames. There's a lot of updates that are going to be that's going to be going down, but I'm going to do upload that video a little bit later. Um, I do want to make this video unique, the Warframe one, different than what I usually do, so it will probably take time as I'm recording this on Wednesday night, uh, uh, February 7th, around like 8 o'clock at night, and I do have to go to work tomorrow, but I want to express what's going on. This patch seems really nice. Um, we're getting lots of content, actually. Um, for the Plains of Eidolon, we are getting two new Eidolons, the Gantulus and the Hydralist. Now, the Gantulus is a giant Eidolon that has a boulder on its arm, and it seems to use sentient beams like those found in the Void. And those, I'm meaning like the lasers that you see in the Void, the yellow lasers. That's what it seems like this Eidolon will be shooting at you with. Not much information, just the plain, um, the plain lore-ish type of text that was given, us, given to us in the uh, actual webpage. And we have the Hydralis, which by visually examining the Eidolon and reading the text, uh, it seems to possibly be a toxic Eidolon. And it also has some pretty cool tentacles on its body. They look like tentacles to me. I'm not sure. But uh, it mentioned toxins, and that kind of points to the direction that this Eidolon will probably be a toxic Eidolon. Just like there is a toxic ancient infested. Um, this could be one but, and as an Eidolon. Now what's seen about these two new Eidolons is that the, they have a chance of dropping Riven Transmuters. Now if you're an Eidolon hunter, you might like this. Um, I for one have yet to actually destroy an Eidolon. Um, I haven't had the proper group to go and destroy one, but I see videos on how people destroy it, and to be honest, I, get, I see what I get sometimes. But um, the, the Riven Transmuter. Um, based off what they, the information they gave us, it says that these transmu these consumable items can be transmuted. Uh, these consumable items can transmute four Riven mods into a brand new Riven mod. Combining four Rivens of the same type will result into the transmuted Riven type of that mod. So if you transmute four rifle Riven mods, your transmuted Riven mod, the new one, is going to be a rifle Riven mod. If you transmute for melees uh, mods, you're gonna driven Riven mods. You're gonna get a new transmuted Riven mod. Now, if you, I'm not sure if you do one melee and three uh, rifles or two melees and two rifles, if that will work, I don't know. Not much information based off what was given on the actual patch um, teaser page. Um, but safe to assume that may not work, and you'll have to have all the exact same mods, Riven mods, to do the actual transmutation. That's what it seems based off this tax. Um, but yes, we'll see in the upcoming days what is actually unfolded. Um, and lastly, we have the Darwin, which is what you see the Grenier flying in the sky in the plains. Um, you, you'll be finally able to pilot one of these things. And to be honest, it's like an ease of travel, and you can shoot enemies with it. If you have your arc wing, you could still use that, but this is like a free way of doing everything you would do on your arc wing um, without wasting an arc wing charge. So it seems more like a fun thing to do in the game, and if you always wanted to drive one, now's your chance. So it's it's kind of fun. It's more of a, a fun thing to do than, than an essential. I'm not sure yet until we I actually get in one and pilot one for myself to see if it's really good in fighting against Eidolons, um, but it's going to be interesting. It's literally like they're adding two new bosses to the game. The two new Eidolons, the Gentilist and the Hydralist. And that's it for now. Um, I got to upload this now because I did promise everyone on Twitter that I will be uploading a video. There was a lot of content released. I'm really looking forward to making the video on the actual Warframe power changes and weapon changes that's going to be going on because it's going to make some frames a lot of fun. Specifically, one that I will mention is Atlas. Um, based off what I read, 
Atlas is going to be a lot of fun to play. He used to be pretty dull, and all I would use him for is for his wall, his stone wall, and the two boulders that you summon to fight for you. I really didn't play him that much since it got pretty boring. Um, I would use the punch just for fun, but this petrify seemed really bad in my opinion because they t the enemies just took too long to be petrified, and I could just shoot them and kill them instead of just p make turning them into stone. But this patch adds lots of synergy to his Petrify uh, that's coming up for the Warframe change for Atlas. Lots of synergy with his Petrify. And I'm really looking forward to talking about that in a new format that I'm planning on constructing this weekend. But uh, my birthday is tomorrow, and I'm going to be working tomorrow. But that's it for now. No more Warframe news for me until I create the actual Warframe changes, Warframe power changes for all the frames that they listed. Um, it's going to be a two-part video. The first one is going to have Banshee, it's going to have Atlas, it's going to have Ash, and it's going to have one more. I wrote notes on this because it's a, it's a lot of frames that are going to be updated. And based on my notes here, we have Banshee, Atlas, Ash, and Chroma. Those are the four I'm going to be talking about in the next video. Specifically, yeah, I really want to talk about them now, but I can't. Um, so look forward to that, everyone. I thank you so much for watching this short video. Uh, I will improve quality of the videos over time, but for now, we're going to deal with this and hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. I am Run This 342, and I'll catch you guys next time.